This is Boarding Party's Pokemon D&D campaign. Featuring Ben as Bentley Woods. Tia as Phoebe Wilhelm. Joel as Milo Reuter. And Jordan as CJ. I'm Drew, the Game Master for the Laris region. With new tree Jim before him, Milo takes his first steps towards home. Hello everybody. Back back at it again at the Krispy Kreme. AKA, welcome to the new tree Jim sessions. This is Milo's attempt. Mr. Milo. Yeah. On your way to the new tree gym. Mm -hmm. Do you have any minor minor tasking you want to do? You want to switch your team around? You want to lock in who you're bringing? Um, so I am bringing uh Howl, Violet, Bullet, and then uh Titania. Okay. Howl, Violet, Bullet, and Titania. That is my squad. Okay. Good stuff. All right. As you head on over to New Tree Gym, your friends scamper off ahead of you. Tia, aka Phoebe, at one point pushes CJ out of the way and says, Move it! Okay. I'm going first. I don't know why, but it happened. So it's there. As you approach the New Tree Gym, your friends seem to already be inside. Interesting. Um, One last ask before we head in um in the past these have been uh lengthy um experiences mm -hmm. and i would like to prepare and maybe have a snack as bagels nearby with which i could procure a mid-gym snack oh yeah you could you could very easily find bagels in okay. his usual haunt of the pokemon center maybe a good cheddar onion a little cheddar onion <laughs> okay Take a if, cheddar if onion it's bagel. Available, yeah, I'll oh, get a yeah. cheddar onion bagel. Oh, it's always available. I'm gonna wrap it in a napkin um, for later. Okay, nap it in a napkin. You got it. Yep. Okay. Yeah, you. I'll say you can procure a cheddar onion. Perfect. Milo's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's his favorite. It's just <laughs> this particular moment. What he munches on when he's stressed. Yeah, he, cheddar onion. He had an everything bagel last time, and I think. Um, you know, this time he's thinking uh, he needs something like um, comfort foodish, which is comes from the cheddar, but something maybe to give him a, a little, a little bit of uh, spunk in the flavor to keep him going. Okay. Hence the onion. Not okay. that onions like crazy, but that's just the vibe that he he feels is needed as a cheddar onion. Okay. You add it to the flavor profile, cheddar onion. Milo eats it when he's stressed and needs to focus. All right, so you grab your cheddar and onion bagel. Yes. You wrap it in a napkin. Yes. You head off towards the new tree gym. Yes. As you push the doors open, you see a familiar rolling expanse of hills. It looks like home. Like Amber Crag home? It looks like Amber Crag okay. home. Like... Harry Potter-esque, like this is way bigger than the building looked from the outside. Yeah, the building outside is a large black obsidian colored tree. Yeah, but then when we're in it, it looks but much it's, bigger. Like if you open the door, it's like full 360 like view. Oh, yeah. okay. Interesting, okay. But as you take your first steps through, you feel the, the crunch of the grass beneath your feet. As you turn back, there is no gym door. There is only Amber Crag. Your home stands maybe 20 feet in front of you. Monty's at your side, proudly clutching his three ribbons. Interesting. How how did you get here? It feels it feels like it's been about maybe two years since he set out from home. You've finished your adventure. Is, is this feeling overwhelming in that I just immediately believe it right now? Okay, so it's not like I'm like, what just happened? Yeah, okay. you're not like, what? Okay. As soon as you step in, you're like, man, remember when I was back? Okay. Challenging those gyms? That was crazy. Okay, gotcha. You're back. Monty's with you. You finished adventuring with the Tatery Tots. You all set out what you 
Y'all did what you set out to do. Phoebe's headed back to the the Amber Crag Medical Facility. Headed back to work. Bentley's heading over to study up a little bit more, share what he's learned with his folks, and carry on the family business. Minor point of sadness. On your way back home, you said a temporary goodbye to CJ. Y'all haven't seen him since. By all accounts, seems like his parents may have found him. Mm. Rough times indeed. As you head off towards towards the front door, proudly holding Monty at your side, you're like... To my house? Yeah. Okay. Like, we did it, buddy. As you swing the doors open, you see your parents mm -hmm. sitting at the, the table and they kind of look up and they do the... <laughs> they're like... Milo, you're, you're back. I'm back, and we did it. Check it out. Oh. Oh, that. great. Yep. So, knew we could do it, and he had no problems. Great. That's so good. We, we knew, and your, your dad kind of steps and goes, We knew you could do it, kiddo. As P-Dub's on his shoulders. Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Dad. Uh, I'm super proud of Monty. He was able to to handle it well. You know, people were a little surprised to not see a Pidgey, but um, he did all three challenges. So, so he did. Told you. I suppose the only thing to be done is uh, ce celebrate tonight. That'd be great. Your your success. Thank you. As your mom is like visibly pale and like kind of tapping her hand nervous. She's like, we're so proud of you. Um, you did it. Yep. I feel like I expect that. So I'm, I don't need to look into it further, like investigate. Like I expected that reaction. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it, it, is Toby around? Oh yeah, Toby's Toby's out back. He's he's training the next uh, next group of Pidgeys. Okay. Hey, random question. Um, any any big goings on in in the region? I know there's kind of a lot of stuff comes through here, but um, th there's a a friend of ours we're looking for. Um, I was just curious if you've heard of any. Uh, crazy kids out there in the region causing a ruckus or or something oh yeah there was a there was a bit of a correspondence chain a few weeks ago it it seems like uh, a missing child was found he was gone for a little over a year hmm. his parents are very thrilled to have him home gotcha do you know um where where home is oh somewhere Somewhere overseas. Oh, dang. Okay. Um, good to know. Thanks. Did you happen to hear anything about us? Just curious. <laughs> While we're out, it seemed like kind of a lot of stuff happened to us. Oh, you you kids seem to be in the news uh, every other week or so. Oh, dang, really? Mostly for, you know, gym battle reportings and okay. things like that. It seems like you and your friends had a... Had a great time on your adventure. Were you keeping up on it? Oh, as much as one can from afar. Gotcha. You know, Toby was very surprised to hear that you were taking on the gym challenges. Yeah, I, to be honest, I kind of was too. It wasn't really uh, something I set out to do, but, um, you know, we would be in the area and, you know, how excited Bentley was to do fights. So he would be wanting to do them and... My other friends wanted to do them, so it seemed like good training and for toughening up Monty and some of my other friends I captured. As Monty's just proudly like, yeah. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, the whole time you're here, they can't even like look at Monty. They, they're just like eyes on you. They're like, yeah, it's great. It's like the awkward friend that they don't want over. <laughs> yep, they just brought him right back yep. home with some ribbons. That's too bad. He's here to stay. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, it, uh, it was, it was a crazy adventure. Um, 
we learned so much. I didn't even know about like any of these wars and things that have happened. Ah, and, uh, you skipped out on your history studies again, huh? Apparently. I don't remember anything like that being brought up in school, but it's terrifying. Did we... Were you guys in it at all, or do we know it? Or was there any family that was involved in the war, or maybe like captured in it, or anything like that? Oh, I think there was some distant cousin on some side, but that's a matter for another time. We should be celebrating. Why don't you go tell Toby you're back and head on back in? We'll we'll get dinner going. Mm, okay, fine. Uh, I will leave the house head in the direction they said toby was noting that i'm almost like i think milo sees their uncomfortability as almost a victory so it's not like there's not any suspicion to it he's just like this is how little they believed in me Monty or a combo mm -hmm. that I was able to overcome those odds still and that just makes it more of a win so that just made him like prouder extreme victory yeah okay yeah yeah as you're walking out let's get a get a perception check okay eight eighteen okay you over here as you're leaving said the tracker would work it was it was working they didn't think he was gonna find it so soon mm. maybe maybe they'll still uphold their end of the deal there's still time as you're walking out towards toby i want to turn around immediately <laughs> okay uh and push the door open uh what was that oh nothing we're just Discussing dinner plans. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. I heard that. You were talking about the tracker. Oh, yeah. No, it's the tracker that we've been putting on some of the Pidgeys. Just to keep an eye on where they go. It's perfectly ordinary stuff, Milo. And your your dad procures a small, like, almost like a toe tag looking thing. Very, very basic, rudimentary stuff. They just sign in and out at the Pidgey Coops. You know this stuff. No, this was like a mechanical device, not like a toe tag thing. It was like surgically inserted in his wing. Who, whose wing? What what was surgically inserted? In That's... Monty's wing. I just heard you talking about it. No, we're talking about the trackers for, no. the, for the Pidgeys. No, you weren't. You were. I heard you just now. You said that he, you thought it would take longer to find than it did. So... What Pidgeys are you talking about whose tracker they found quicker than they did, if not me? Make an intimidation check, Mr. Milo. Oh, great. Four. <laughs> okay. All right. Your dad goes from, like, jovial dad mode into, like, dad mode. Mm -hmm. He becomes your father for a minute. <laughs> goes... Now, Milo, that's no way to talk back to your parents. You need to trust us. We're talking about the trackers that we're installing on the Pidgeys. Very basic stuff. It's just pen and paper. Nothing crazy. Nothing going on. Have you been out in the sun for too long? You've had a long journey. I apologize for speaking out of turn. I would just like some additional information on the Pidgey whose tracker was found earlier than you expected. Very well. And he whistles. And a little Pidgey comes up to the window. You can see he's got a little bandage on his leg. See, we had, we had tied the tracker a little too tight. Mm -hmm. It's our mistake. Mm -hmm. We sent him off to get healed. He flew himself to a nearby Pokemon Center. And they pulled the tracker off. They found it sooner than we thought they would. We thought something had happened. What do you mean sooner than they thought? That we, doesn't make any sense to me. We thought he had been injured in some way. Turns out it was just the tracker. There's nothing to worry about, son. You've had a long journey. All right, I'll go get Toby. Okay. So you head off towards Toby. You see him. Big old dingus that he is. 
Come on, Pidgeotto. Whip these birds into shape. And he's like running drills with the Pidgeys. Yeah, he's been he's been rough as usual. He's having his Pidgeotto do like some gust attacks towards them if they're not fast enough. Toby, this seems a bit excessive. Well, 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 look who I... finally came home. Yeah. Did you give up? No, I won. As you can see by these ribbons. Yeah, they're probably fake. Whatever. <laughs> nope. I promise you they're not, but it doesn't matter because I know I did it. Oh, okay, yeah, you know you did it, but yep. no one else does. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, do you want me to prove it? <laughs> How? 1v1 me right now with your Pidgeotto. You're on, kid. I'll show you what we've learned. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, super luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is a nine. A nine. Okay. Still second. Pidgeotto's <laughs> going first. Still feels better than as a one. As soon as you're just like, feels... we'll show you, Pidgeotto just spins and immediately throws a wing attack towards Monty. But it's only an 11. No dice. Monty with his incredible speed dodges around. Get him. All right. Uh, he's going to set up a tailwind. Okay. Um, and then try to astonish him. Get it. Ten. Ten. Ten's insufficient. As Monty comes in and smacks, he's like, Do you really think we forgot your one move? Come on, man. You're nothing. You're trash, kid. Remember your place. That bird of yours, he's nothing. Just you wait, Toby. <gasps> As his Pidgeotto subsequently misses as well. As Monty <laughs> uses the tailwind to his advantage. Spinning around the back. Ah, neat trick. Where'd you learn that? While you were sewing your ribbons together? I'm just going to ignore him. <laughs> and uh, Monty's going to go for a pack. It's the best way to deal with a troll. Just Monty, do, do nothing. Pack that Pidgeotto. Right in his face. 14. 14 hits. Hey. 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 For five damage. Five damage. All right. As you peck the Pidgeotto in the face. And he leaves a nice little neck under his eye. He's like, oh yeah, we'll show you. As Pidgeotto comes back for a wing attack. It's a 12. Nope. As Monty once more is just too fast, uses the wing attack into the tailwind to build even more momentum swinging around. You got this, Monty. You're way faster than him and way better. Astonish. God. 10. <laughs> no good. As you're flying in. Pidgeotto comes back with a very potent gust for 14 damage. Yikes, around. As the gust slams into you, you get thrown into your own tailwind and you're kind of spun around and, and your ribbons kind of like fly off your lapel as they fall onto the ground. He goes, yeah, exactly. That's how many ribbons you've earned. Come on, Monty. All right, Monty, you can do it. Pack them again. Eight. Eight. As Monty's flying back towards Pidgeotto, he's like, come on, Pidgeotto, bury this bird. Filthy crow to 19. Yikes. Monty, 16 points of damage. Yikes. As the Pidgeotto just slams the back of its wing into Monty's back and barrels him into the ground. Um, I'm going to tell Monty to do a peck, but he's going to do a dark pulse. Okay. Because he's frustrated at his ultimate opponent. The ultimate opponent. Um. Okay. For five damage. Five damage. And then he's got to make an intelligence save. Which he fails, unfortunately, barely. But he only takes one damage. One damage. All right, Monty. As you unleash this horrible dark squawk, Pidgeotto kind of like reels back in shock. As your, your little bird nose then starts bleeding as you're kind of like looking up at him from the dirt. As Toby's like, wow, should have figured your runt was some kind of demon. He doesn't belong here. Monty, you have to you have to calm down. It's okay. It's not that serious. 
Pidgeotto's coming in. <gasps> he misses. As he's still reeling from the Dark Pulse. It, it seems like you got the element of surprise there. He's like, what? What did you just do? All right, he's going to go for another Astonish here. Bop. There we go. 23 to hit. Good stuff, Monty. <laughs> Two damage. Two damage. As you come in, you... You just kind of, you're flying up, looking like you're going for a peck on the forehead. You get him with the talons right in the chest. Leave a nice little tuft of hair that you pull out and throw onto the ground. Just like this Pidgeotto used to do with you a couple years back. Pidgeotto comes at you with another wing attack. It's a 24. Yuck. Monty, 13 points of damage. He goes down. As the Pidgeotto launches a wing attack towards Monty. He looks over to you and is just like, sorry, bro, as the wing attack slams into him. As Pidgeotto just very confidently struts over, <laughs> just spits on Monty. Good lord. As Toby looks at you and goes, what a yeah, jerk. you didn't earn those ribbons. I'm going to run up to Monty. No ruder bird would fall that easily. You're just a monster. <laughs> I'm going to run over to Monty and, and pick him up. And be like, sorry, bud, we'll we'll get him next time, I promise. Monty gives you a similar look. He's like, I thought I had him. I thought I could do it. Anyway, we're gonna have dinner. You don't have to come though. I'll be in a minute. <laughs> As he walks over to Pidgeotto and he's like, Great job, bro. I knew you could do it. The Pidgeotto's like, oh yeah. Gross. Totally nailed that, dude. We got him. Gross. As you head back in, your dad's like, Oh no, Monty. Did did you and Toby have a battle out there? Yeah, I'll take care of it though. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Minor note, do you grab his ribbons off the floor from outside? Um. Or do they mean nothing to you now? Because no. you've already won. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I would grab them. I just wanted... To be clear that I got Monty first. Okay, so you grab Monty and then the ribbons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you bring him inside. And take, take him, him upstairs to my room. Yeah. And clean him up, dress him up. Okay. Yeah, he seems he seems like he's okay. He's like his pride's hurt. Yeah, pretty for sure. bad. My just is probably mine too. Yeah, it's it's a little rough. But as you head on down for dinner. You've gotten used to Arjan's cooking. He's gotten mm -hmm. pretty good lately. So, like, a home-cooked meal, you're like, all right, like, I can get down with this. And it's just not quite as good. They just don't know your palate as well as Arjan does. <laughs> like, Arjan just knows what you want to eat. Yeah. And mac and cheese and chicken tenders. <laughs> the old standby. As you sit down and you eat your meal, you see Monty kind of pecking at the bowl of seeds that they've given him. It's very clearly, like, not the best seeds mm -hmm. that they had. Yeah. As Pidgeotto's got a massive bowl of, like, fresh-cut grains. You're like... Dang. Unbelievable. Clearly. And Toby's like, yeah, this is a winner's meal. Trash. Well, He's being a little extra nasty. Yeah. Right? I mean... Hey, we're, we're celebrating his completion of the challenges. He's He's got his ribbons. That's right, Toby. This is... This is Monty's day. As your mom's just like still very pale, just staring down, barely eating. And Toby's just like scarfing down his food. He's like, anyway, see you later, guys. I'm going. I'm out. And, and your dad's like, well, son, of, I'm, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm, I, I'm glad you, you pulled it off. I got to know. What does it matter that it's not a Pidgey? As your mom just kind of like grabs onto her fork. It's hard enough to like put finger dents <laughs> in it. Well, son, the, the Ruder family's always used Pidgeys. It's, well, it's tradition. Yeah, but everyone uses Pidgeys. Not just, not just us. Yes, but ours have always been the best. Best Pidgeys. They always get where they're going and they, and they get there fast. As P-Dove's like, yeah, we do. Forgetting that he's not a Pidgey. Yeah. And it's just, it, it just seems odd that, like, why couldn't Pidove be the best Pidove? Oh, he is the best Pidove, isn't he? As he kind of scratches the top of his head. But you won't send him out to do mail? 
Well, we we sent him out to find you. Exactly. He did all right there. But... So why can't it be a Murkrow? Well, we we have an image to uphold, you know. Murkrow, they they they're, they're seen as an omen, son. It's it's a dark thing. People like to see the happy, smiling beaks of a Pidgey delivering their mail. They know it's in good hands. So when a Murkrow shows up, it's it's less. Wow. So you don't like my lifelong friend because of the color of his feathers. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of really goes, well, well, no. It, if you know, if it was a Pidgey with darker feathers, we would it would be fine. It's just he doesn't need to be so different. I disagree. Why couldn't you have someone that could deliver mail like a Diglett? And do I have my other Pokemon? Like, can I send out Derby? Yeah. I don't know where, where we're at in this, but I'll send out Derby. Be like, right. like this little guy's been delivering mail for me underground. They go, oh, isn't he cute? I like his little hat. So why couldn't he be like an official mail delivery Pokemon? <laughs> well, son, we we deliver overseas sometimes. Could, could this Diglett dig across the sea? No, but you wouldn't give him that because that's silly. Exactly, but it's standardized. We need the same birds for every task. But let's say you have a, a delivery that is going to go from, I don't know, let's just throw out beavers beat a new tree and it's the winter and storms are brewing and the Pidgeys can't quite fly in the storm, but Diglett here could take it underground no problem. Well, I suppose that's very clever, isn't it? Yeah. And he kind of looks over <laughs> like, ah, and your mom's just... And she slams the fork down and goes... I'm going to train. And she just heads outside. Why, oh. is, why is mom so mad? Oh, don't mind her, son. She's she's happy you're here. She really is. It doesn't seem that way. Oh, she's just, I think, surprised is all. We're all a little surprised. Well, I get that, but it's like you guys are mad that I succeeded. Oh, I wouldn't say we're mad you succeeded. I would say we're surprised. Yeah, <laughs> we're surprised is all. But not in a good way is what I'm saying. Everyone's been very uh, upset. It doesn't seem as uh, as happy as I expected. Give it time, son. Give it time. They'll come around. All right. I knew you could do it. Thanks. If anyone could. Don't let them get to you. Thanks, Dad. Now, finish up. Go get some rest. All right. Now yeah, we'll do just that. Okay. As you head back on up with Monty outside, you hear the silent rage of Bronwyn training some Pidgeys. Speed drills, one after the next. There's no emotion. There's no typical sort of lighthearted air when she's working with the birds. She's not a huge fan of people, if I recall correctly. She does much better with the birds. But there's no celebrations. Um, Toby's off at his buddy's house. <laughs> doing whatever Toby is does. Is this like I'm upstairs and I can see it out the window? Yeah. Uh, I'm just... Before I go to bed, since Monty's kind of injured, I won't do anything else in that realm. But I just kind of want to watch for a little bit and see if I see any uh, mood improvements or if she's being like particularly mean to them. Okay. Let's get a perception check. Uh, natural one. Natural it's a, one. It's a five total, but... That's a seven, bro? What? Or did it move? No, no, it's... Oh, okay. I knocked it. Uh, okay. As you're looking out the window, there, she's not being, like, cruel to them, but there's no celebration. There's no, like, yes, good job, you're improving. There's no... There's no joy in it. She's just running drills. 
but you hear something behind you. You hear Monty kind of coughing a little. Uh-oh. I'm going to turn around. Look at him. He looks as pale as a crow can look. <laughs> okay. His eyes seem a little a little bloodshot. He seems a little leery, a little wobbly. Are you all right, bud? Let's let's get some rest. And uh, I'll lay him down on my bed. Okay. As and you, I'll lay down too. As you sit him on the bed, he just kind of funk. Just face down on the pillow. His breathing's real shallow. Uh-oh. Uh, pick him up, or I guess like turn him over so he's belly up, and give him a, a looksy doodle over to see if there's any like injury I missed or any clear sign of what's causing this. Yeah, some of the it it seems like some of his wounds from the Pidgeotto battle are festering in some way. Oh no. Oh, oh no, this isn't good. No, um, pick him up and run downstairs and head towards the hospital. Okay. Yeah, as you as you head down the stairs, give me an investigation check on your way out the door. Aye. Seven. Seven. <laughs> All right. As you're heading out, nothing catches your eye. You grab your coat <laughs> and you start running. Yeah. As you run off towards the hospital all around you in the in the early hours of night you hear the haunting giggles and creepy laughter that usually accompanies anytime CJ would do anything with the ghosts it seems like something is watching you as you run I want to do an, a, another look around to see if there's an obvious source to these noises yeah, let's get a look. Turn around. <laughs> All right. You're like, no, I'm not doing this tonight. No, we're going and we're going now. As you continue to run, Milo. Dexterity saving throw if you would. God. Do better on this one. You got it. Two. <laughs> All right. I did better. You did better. I did better. As you're running, holding Monty. Jesus Christ. You feel your foot slip out from underneath you backwards mm -hmm. as you're hoisted up into a tree. And Monty's little body goes tumbling onto the road. Am I like in a trap? Yeah. Okay. Your eyes are kind of reeling. You're like, oh, what the heck? And as you swing back towards one of the nearby trees, you kind of clock yourself in the head. You're like, oh, man. Through blurry vision. You see little Monty on the floor, coughing up. Monty, Monty, I need you to, I need you to get up. I need you to cut this rope. I can't get down. As he's trying, he's trying to pick himself up. I know you're hurt, but we, and we need some help so I can get you to the hospital. Underneath you, one of your pokeballs spills out. Little Titania. <laughs> She's now about a year old. Okay, hopefully she can fly. She goes, ah! Titania, oh, thank goodness. I need you to, to cut this rope down that's holding my leg. Ah! Please, hurry. Monty needs help. She's kind of doing her usual runabout. She runs over to Monty and is kind of like... All right, fine. Just take him to the hospital. I'll figure out my my rope. <laughs> just kind of hauls him under. He's just kind of like pushing him a little. He's like, all right, I got this. This is my mission. I can do it. You're going to that building. Ugh. She's like, okay, that one. As you're kind of like, over there. <laughs> okay. Oh, nope. I thought it was that way. Okay. And as she kind of looks back, she's like, Watching you swing a little. No, I need, I need you to go <laughs> or cut me down. <laughs> One of the two. She's like, you can't just stand there. No. As stop. from behind her on the path, a little purple void gateway opens. Oh God. As out steps the prime mind. 
No. Or what Milo would envision the prime mind to look like. No. The horrible scarred over Kadabra. No. Frantically try to do anything on this thing on my leg mm -hmm. to do it. Just scrambling for any kind of freedom. Yeah. It's just a rope, but it's a thick rope. And you're kind of just pulling at it. The more you pull, the tighter it seems to go on your leg. As you, all the blood's kind of rushing to your head. You just see little Titania watching you swing. Run! And Monty on the ground. Run, Titania, run! And she's like, yeah, okay. And just starts kind of running off, and she runs behind you. Oh, my you goodness. You see the prime mind just... <laughs> and she vanishes in a puff. No! As he walks up to Monty, and just picks him up. At this point, I would be doing, like, anything that is physically possible. Like, if I have the ability to do crunches with which to bite this rope and try to <laughs> chew through it myself. Okay. Yeah, you're up there biting, crunching at it. Let's get a just a general dexterity check. See how you do. At getting up there. Nine. All right. You're doing everything you can. You're chewing at this rope. He watches the prime mind just throws Monty over towards you. You see he tumbles underneath. Monty's breathing's real shallow. You leave us alone! And I want to just start throwing things out of my bag at him. Like my camera, my rock from Ty, like just literally anything okay. on my possession. Yeah. Throw. Get something. Uh, is it? Are you, is this Dex again? Yeah. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you hit him in the face with a camera, <laughs> and it lands, and the flash goes off, and he's kind of like, and he reaches down, and pulls from thin air, a small purple flesh-like ball. Don't you dare! <laughs> and he throws it at you. No. For a hundred. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a master ball. It's a straight up hundred. Jesus. Milo, as you're floating back and forth, dazed, concussed, weeping, trying to rip through this chain. You're pulled into... Oh my god. A man ball. <sighs> as you enter into the man ball, everything seems... Different. You're back in at home. What way? Oh my god. But Toby's gone. So are your parents. It's just you. At home. I'm gonna race out the door. Okay. Yeah, you run outside. It's a perfectly clear day with absolutely no discernible features. I wanna run towards the hospital to whatever tree I was tied up at. Yeah. There's nothing there. The path is perfectly ordinary. I want to look up in the sky to see if it's like normal sky or if it's clear that I'm in like a Truman Show-esque. Oh yeah. Like there's clouds, but they don't move at all. Mm. There's there's the sun, but you can see the track that it's riding on. Hmm. Um. Gotta get out of here. There's no way this is happening. I can't believe this right now. And I'm going to think for a minute both as Milo in real life. <laughs> okay. Okay. You think and think. And as you approach the spot where you were, you see a little headstone. Monty. And another little headstone. Titania. Like they were there or they just popped up? The longer you think. Oh my god. He's killing them out there. The Monty one says, I wish you had tried harder. And the Titania one just says, Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no! I want to just, I want to like just punch the ground and like rip grass out mm -hmm. to see how real it is. Yeah, it's like AstroTurf. You pull it up and there's just like a thin layer of this fake grass. And then it's like metal panels and and like glass casings. 
Can I try to like rip the tree? Like, is it like paint on it or? Yeah, it's basically it's like it's like paper over the top. You just peel it down, and there's just this like metal pole underneath. If I run in any direction, what happens? Like, if I just run. Oh, if you run, it just it seems like you're on a treadmill, and it's like, like I'm centered in a snow like globe, a, and I can't yeah, get anywhere. And there's like this big projection for you. The further you run, the the more it rises up to meet you. And you see a, a blur shoot past you, <laughs> and it's bullet. Bullet. Oh my god! How did he catch you too? How'd you get in here? You just okay. We need to find a way out. Have you seen a door? Anything? We're trapped. We need to find a way out of here. Oh my goodness! All right, bullet, and I want to show him. I want to like rip up some grass. Like, look and knock on it. It's fake. I need you to help me find anything that is not fake like this. Like peck stuff. Peel at it. Try to break through it. it doesn't matter. We gotta find a way out of here now. All right, he'll fly on up into the sky and off he goes. He does a big circle and just goes. I want to go to a building and that's not my house. Okay. And can I go in it? Yeah, there's a there's a Pokemon Center just conspicuously in the middle of the woods. As soon as you're like, I need a Pokemon Center, it appears. Oh, okay. And I can go in it? And mm -hmm. is there anybody in it? Who do you need to be in there? <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> just for the meme of it, <laughs> Officer David. <laughs> okay. Officer David is inside with his trusty growlith. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is too convenient. Officer, I need help. Where is everybody? Well, what do you mean? And as you kind of like uncover your eyes, there's, there's like a dozen or so folks just walking around. Are you all right, son? No. Something going on? Yes. So the the prime mind caught me. Who? Oh my caught, goodness! Bad guys. Some you. yeah. Someone like in the war where they could catch people. I was captured. Oh, is it a game? No. Oh, that sounds like right, fun. I'm running away. He's useless. Okay. Uh, and then um, I want to be thinking about a like a door out of here. Okay. Like trying to look for a door out of here and picturing it. Okay. Yeah, a large metal door appears in the middle of the path. As Bullet kind of flies on down Perfect. to you, he's like, yo. Yeah, I think I found it. Let's go. Hurry. We got to help. Okay. Open it. As you reach your hand out to the door, there's this large bolt of lightning shoots out and zaps into Bullet. Oh, my goodness. Bullet, <laughs> no. As he tumbles into the ground. Bullet, come on. I need your help. Do I have his Pokeball? No. Oh, my You're God. You're in one. <laughs> you better start believing in Pokeballs, Milo. <laughs> oh, my God. Chaos. Come on, we have to go. He kind of like picks himself up and he's like, ow. <laughs> no, I get it. Oh, my God. This is this is horrible. Like, I'm this so sucks. sorry. I agree 100%. Why? We have to go. And I'll carry him. Watch this. this be on my back. You're fine. Okay, he's like holding on. Yeah. I'm a bird. This All will right, work. Alright, let's go. Open it. Okay. You take the shock this time. That's fine. But you fling the door open. Yeah. And you step through. Mm hmm Back into home. <sighs> into my house? Yeah. My god. Immediately, I just want to like grab something off the wall and see if it's fake again. Oh, yeah. Ay, uh, yay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um... I want to uh, think about um, Monty again, but alive this time. Okay. Yeah, you, you think real hard. And then I want to think really hard about... Um, Derby, but like he's really big. A really big derby? Yeah, like a 30 foot derby. Okay. From outside your window, there's just this massive shadow. Perfect. 
And then realizing that none of this is real and none of these are actually my friends. They're just like fake versions of them. I want to think of a friendly prime mind. Okay. That will come answer my questions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There's a there's a rap tap tap at your door. I'll open it. Hello, Milo. Hello. I you're not here to hurt me. That is correct. Perfect. So you ca you captured me. It seems that way. How do I get out? You wait until you are released. Oh my goodness. What is your biggest fear? <laughs> or weakness? The champion. Okay. The only one who stood a chance. As he hovers just menacingly around your room. And then just goes over and just pets Monty. <laughs> um, why are you coming after me? That is a question that only you have the answer to. Is it because we're going to stop you and you know it? I think that you think that. And that's why I'm here. If I am released and I'm out of the Pokeball and I break it, would I be free? No one's ever tried. Interesting. Okay. Um... I think I'm just stuck now, waiting. Um, are you able to uh, tell the real you to, to let me out? <laughs> I exist only because you willed it. Fair enough. I figured that would be as much. Um, I would like to familiarize myself with this version of the prime mind that I am conjuring mm -hmm. to just be um, desensitized to the look of him. Okay. Because he's he's not threatening right now, so I just want to like take it all in, so that if I were to just pop back out, it wouldn't be like oh my god, it's this thing again. It's like oh, it's you. Okay. You're doing some exposure therapy. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're. It takes a minute to not be like, okay, because he's like, who's a good bird? <laughs> yeah. So I'll do that. And then, um, how come when I, I thought of this door, right? But it, it shot lightning out. I didn't. I didn't want that. Where'd that come from? You wished for the wrong thing. There is no out. So there's like. I just don't understand where how the lightning factors into this door. But um. Okay. Do you want to have a practice battle? <laughs> Why not? Okay. <laughs> Might as well. Fight him with DD Mega Derby. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to fight him with Hal. Okay. Throw out big old Hal? Yeah. All right. Throw there, in there, there's something weird about this being like a simulation. Um, that like puts me at ease that like none of this is permanent. Okay. Um, 19. Wait, really? Yep. It's a tie. Dang. But your dex is higher at the moment. 
because you have a bonus. Yeah. Okay. Um, he's gonna kick things off with a flamethrower. Okay. For a fourteen. Fourteen hits. Dang. Okay. Not as my version of you is not that bad. Um, eighteen. Eighteen. Yep. Yeah, the prime mine is immediately incinerated. Oh, as as Howell lets out this torrent of flame, you're like, "Great job, dude!" Yeah. <laughs> as the prime mine then goes, "That was fun." <laughs> Shall we do another? Yep. All right. This one's gonna be me. You're gonna fight him. Yeah. All right. Roll initiative, Milo. A uh, natural one. Oh, very <laughs> fitting. All right. The prime mind uh, runs up and goes, Ah. <laughs> it's your turn. I'm going to punch him. Punch him? I'm going to uppercut his beard Come off. Come uppercut his beard off. All right. Give me a good punch, Milo. Uh, ten. <laughs> All right. There's conviction in your words. As you punch him, he goes flying back just comically far. He goes, Ah. <laughs> that was fun. Shall we do another? Nah. Okay. Um. God, I don't know what what else to do. Um. Do you know any other way out of here? Pinch myself. Okay. You feel nothing. Man, it is like I'm asleep. Um, I'm going to go grab and run in the kitchen and just splash some cold water on my face. Okay. It doesn't feel like you would expect. Got to save my friends. And I'll try to just trust fall into the grass. Okay. Give yourself a kick. Yeah. All right. That'll do it. As you fall, as you fall backwards. Welcome to the new tree gym challenge. Oh my as God. As you stagger backwards, you're like, oh, huh? <laughs> I feel like I was in there like 20 minutes longer than anyone else. <laughs> Anyway, first challenge. Who's up first? Oh my god. Um, me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've trained for this moment. I'm ready. Um, I'm gonna send out bullet. Okay. Bullet flies out. Do I have memory of what just happened? Yeah. Oh yeah. You're like cold sweat, shaky. You're like, huh? And then all your teammates are out like, we're ready. Ready to take on the gym. Let's go. All right, Bullet. Okay. Bullet, as you lock in, we're going to get this started off the right way. As a yellow, child-sized creature walks out and holds a lifesaver on the end of a string and dongles it back and forth. Bullet, give me an intelligence save. 15. <gasps> Bullet's not afraid anymore. Sick. Bullet, as part of your dream training, Okay. you're no longer as scared of lightning hey. as in front of you is a massive storm cloud, but you're not afraid, Okay. which is going to make this a lot easier. Cool. So you're going to roll initiative. Okay. Five. Okay. So you're going second. Okay. On the bright side, you take one point of damage. On the bright side? Yep. It's not so bad. It's just one. Oh, it's compared to what I could have taken? No, you just take one damage. You just, just one. Well, just... you said like that was a, a positive. Yeah, it's not a lot. Th yeah. That's what I was saying. It wasn't yeah. as much as it could have been. Well, it's not as much as it's going to be. Okay. It's I just, just for now. The way you phrased it, <laughs> said, oh, on the bright side, you take a point of damage. <laughs> I was yeah. like, why is that a good thing? Oh, I'm just memeing you. Because it's your turn. Okay. As the thunder and lightning crash all around you, 
bullet you. You damage yourself a little. Okay. It's like a mental damage. I see. Um, I am delusional at this point. I don't give him any direction because um, I'm still trying to process what just happened to me. Uh huh. Very fitting. Um, bullet will just go for a fury attack at the moment. Okay. Actually, no. He'll he'll try to agility because he wants to outspeed this storm and be faster than it to not be concerned about it. Okay. Get so that he'll just agility. Agility That's up. That's what he would do. All right, bullet. As you speed up, you see the lightning strikes begin to slow down. Mm-hmm. And then they zip past you even faster. I still punched it. <laughs> they zip past you even faster. You take two points. Okay. Two points of brain damage. Okay. Um, do I see thunderclouds as Milo? You see the little yellow critter. Okay. Dongling this back and forth. Bullet is close enough to see thunder and lightning. He can't see the little guy. Okay. And now suddenly, he doesn't see anything at all as the thundercloud turns into a small, shapeless black mass that then zips past him even faster than he could be. As he's flying around at, like, incredible speed, this thing's just... Is there any discernible mark on the floor? Not at the moment, no. Okay. You're standing on, like, sheer black glass, okay. almost. Okay, I was trying to see if there was like a tile pattern I could say that like where it was. Um, and is this thing in the middle of the room? Sort of. In the same way that like you're in a spot and bullets a little ways out. Yeah. It's like a little ways in from the wall. Okay. Bullet, he, he's over there. Fury attack him. Oh, all right. Go for it. You got agility up and everything. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta do amount of hits. Beda bing, beda boom. Get six. Uh, three hits. Hey, three hits is three hits. It's true. Uh, thirteen. Okay. Eight. Six. Eh. Natural one. The on thirteen the hits. One. Yuck. For one damage. One damage. Yuck. All right. On the bright Yuck. side, you reset what I've been referring to as the doom clock. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Yeah. So you smack him in the face for one damage. Okay. Bullet, as you're flying towards this thing, you're trying to hit it. But no matter how fast you go, it's always one step ahead of you. Till eventually, you go the other way. <laughs> you're so fast and you outsmart it. And you smack it in the back. As it spins around confused, it morphs once more into an angry cloud of thunder and lightning. <sighs> One point of damage. Yuck. And then it's back to you. Okay. Um, but I, again, I don't see this happening. Do I see him, like, wincing or taking damage yeah, in any way? Yeah, he seems to be... He's almost doing the, like, terminal velocity thing, but he's, like, not moving. He's, his feet are, are stable on the ground, but it looks like he thinks he's flying. As he's kind of like, all right, boy, you gotta move. You're just, you gotta fly, buddy. You're just standing on the ground. Um, just fly up and get some agility going. Okay, your agility again. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't think he would make the connection yet that not doing an attack would be a bad thing. Yeah. No, that's that's rough. Because you take two points of damage as you try to get faster and faster, and this thing's just getting further and further away. Figured as much. And Come on, again, bullet. in my to me, he's not moving. Correct. As you're kind of reeling from the nightmare, you're like, "Is that what I looked like?" <laughs> As bullets like, I, I want to pick him up and move him forward like three feet. <laughs> okay. And just like, go get him, fury attack, bud. Okay. Yeah. To him, he's just focused, laser focused. He's like, we can do this. He's not afraid of it, but he, yeah. he doesn't seem to be able to break out of this. Okay. Get him. Four attacks. Let's go get him. Crit. Nine. Thirteen. Or twelve, excuse me, and oh. eight. Okay, so one crit. And one hit, right? No, because you said twelve, right? 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You missed by one. It's close. Five, Five damage. Five. It's two ones in a row, guys. That's rough, oh, man. Dude. All right. You took him back down to the mute key. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. All right. You smack it in the face for one. As it reels around behind you. And bullet, you feel like sticky tars on your feet as you as you kind of land for a second. You're like, wait, wait, no, <laughs> no, I need to fly. Take one point of damage. Okay. But you smacked him. All right, come on, bud. Fury attack him. Um, you can you can do it. And I think to him, if need be, he would fury attack the sticky on his feet. Okay. Unless he is able to get there, then he will. He is, yeah. Okay, then he'll go for it. Yeah, the, all the like fear moments are momentary, and then he breaks okay, out. And okay. He's like, okay, I can do it. And gotcha. then when he fails, he's like, ah! He'll go to fury attack for six attacks. So four hits, one of which is a crit. Okay. Get it, bullet. That's four. Plus four, oh. eight, 11, 14, 15 damage. That's a much, 15. much, much better. Bullet. Much better. Bullet, as you pull away at the sticky tar, you're like, can't stop me. I'm the fastest thing alive. Darn right. As the creature once more turns into that shapeless black mass, you're like, no, 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 no. I am the fastest. As you slice and dice right on through, get four strong hits in there. As it kind of falls away and turns once more into a roiling thundercloud, you're like, that's right, coward. Hide <laughs> in the clouds. I am the fastest. That's a good smack. It's so many good smacks. You take no points of damage this time. Hey, okay. And bullet, it's still you. As the thunder and lightning strike up once again. Can I see the trainer? No. I just see this little yellow dude? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Okay. Are there things in here that are indicative of this being an actual gym and not a torture chamber? Yes. <laughs> yes. There are... Like, there's still the traditional big statues on the inside. And it's, like, well lit, not, like, abandoned. It's So it's, like, inky black inside. Uh -huh. You can't really see where the floor ends and the wall starts. If, if but I, it is lit. If I'm going to cut through it, it's Milo deciding he's going to go kick this Pokemon oh. himself or not. No, it, you definitely... I get, you the, get the vibe the sense that, that like, this is... This is the gym. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. You are that. You don't don't kick him. Okay. That's, I just wanted <laughs> That's to a make hate sure. crime. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> if you're just... Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I just... Just wanted you to make sure. Milo was That's arrested all. today for kicking a hypno in the face. Um, <laughs> he deserved it. He deserved it. Should be carted away. I let's see. Let me let me make a let me make a check here because it's going to determine okay. my perception of things. Mm -hmm. Seeing that and acknowledging this is a gym. and that's actually pretty decent. And he rolled poorly. Never mind. So. Um, <laughs> Forget poor everything. Milo, poor Milo today. You can't roll above a four, but that's just how it be. Um, so much sun in here. So he's going to continue to try to assist poorly and like pick him up and move him another foot. Okay. Like, get him. <laughs> Why aren't you moving? Let's go. Come on, move him. Hit him. Hit him where it hurts. Bosh. Five attacks. Five attacks. All right. Two hits, two crits. Eight, nine, ten. Nine, ten. Okay. All right, bullet. As as you feel Milo once more, you kind of start to get stuck in the ground, and he just goes, "Go get him!" And you're like, "How did you get here?" Okay, sure. And you're kind of reeling at first, and you're, you're kind of pecking at this cloud. You're like, "I don't really know." Oh yeah, I'm not afraid. Two good, two good slices. Boppers. You do. You take one. Okay. One point of damage, but. You did a strong 10. Back to you. Okay. Bullet. Hit him. <laughs> Get him, buddy. Come on. Okay. This will be the last turn of being an idiot. Okay. Um, four attacks in or uh, three, excuse me. Okay. Three attacks in common. For a four, a 10. And a 12. Oh, you're so close. All three miss. Mm -hmm. 
As you're flying back and forth once more, that thundercloud just seems faster and faster and faster. As it morphs and flies away from you, take two points of pride damage. Okay. Um, Come on, bullet. Pull it together. So, uh, Milo is going to think, because he's seeing bullet is taking damage, or like being hurt in some capacity, mm -hmm. but nobody's moving. He's not moving. Bullet's not moving. Are his eyes open? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Bullet's like looking around. He seems to know what's going he's on. He's got some rem. <laughs> he's more confused when you approach, and he's like, dude, this is an active battlefield. Okay. So, um... <laughs> Knowing that right now, next part will be phase two. Um, because now Milo's picking things up and he rolled well again. Um, he's gonna understand that something is happening that he cannot see. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is something that is happening like in his brain or if I'm just not capable of seeing it or if I'm still like in a weird state. But clearly he's doing something independent of me, but he can hear me. Mm -hmm. So. Bullet. You can't see what I can see, but whatever you're up against isn't real. Now, gain some agility and see if you can see through it. Okay. Agility up. Despite Milo's words. Yeah. That thundercloud seems very real as it strikes out towards you again. For two this time. Okay. But agility's up. <sighs> okay. Um, now, whatever it is, try to hit it. Maybe like in the most middle part, fury attack. Like just get right in there. Okay. <laughs> Do better than you are currently doing. <laughs> Just right, go right into it. Don't try, try to win. Basically, the crux of what I was trying to say is don't go for a glancing blow because that might not be real. Get into the meat of it. Get him. For three attacks. Uh, what was it? Plus extra plus two, so 16. Crit. And a unnatural 20. So two or three hits, one of which is a crit. 4, 8, 10, 12. 12. All right. Your words do not seem to be falling on deaf ears. Bullet seems to be performing admirably. So much so, he takes no damage this turn. Love it. As Bullet's striking on through this thundercloud, it seems to be dispersing. It's turning to a nice puffy white cloud. Hit it again. For five attacks. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Two hits, one's a crit. Okay. Four, five, eight damage. Eight damage. Milo. Yeah. As you're watching Bullet go flying all around, Bullet sees that little puffy white cloud shoot out one more tiny burst of lightning. This bullet goes whoosh. Nice. And flies through it, dispersing the fog as the hypno just goes... <laughs> oh my god. And is this bullet like come out of it? Yeah, his bullet's like Huh? I think you won. Alright. Let me uh date. Okay. Bullet. You heal up. Nice. Cause you realize it was these wounds hard. aren't real. Next up. I was trying to see if Milo could put two and two together, that it was the lightning that was fearing him, and maybe that's what he was seeing. But it was such a a, a brief moment in the previous thing that I don't think he could have put two and two together. Yeah. And he did not. I, I set a high check for him to learn that, and he did not do well. All right. Because that would be, be cheap if I just decided he knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, but I allow it. It's fine. <laughs> Task number two. Okay. Bullet. Yeah. You're locked in. Okay. You're doing well. Next one's tougher. Okay. As from out of the ground. Oh, it's still bullet? Yeah. Okay. Yikes. It's still bullet. Okay. You're, you're healed because you realize. Yeah. Okay. Next up is a small 
pudgy purple ball that folds itself out of the floor with a big white smile and two glowing red eyes. Milo, we need an intelligence save from you. Yikes. Okay. 11. Milo? Uh Uh-huh. You're back in the nightmare. God. Bullet? Uh Uh-huh. You're on deck. Okay. Here's the deal. Milo is stunned. Milo cannot give you battle commands. Okay. Which means you must fight Gengar without him. Okay. The start of your turn. Roll a die. Any die. Doesn't matter which one. If it's an even, you get your turn. If it's an odd, you don't. Here's the extra kicker. If you get within 10 feet of Gengar, you're afraid of him. So all your attacks will be a disadvantage. Oh my god. Okay. So Bullet's got to parse this one out for himself. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go with this one. I was doing some quick maths to see if there's any die that gave me better odds, but there's no dice. No. It's an odd. Okay. Well, you got to do initiative first. Okay. So don't worry about it. Um, 12. 12? All right. Bullet. Okay. Same as last time. Take one point of damage. Nice. As the Gengar pulls his face apart and goes, <laughs> Bullet's like, ah! Um, he is going to gauge some speed, build up some agility to see how fast it is. Okay. Like fly around it to see, because this will be his turn, how easy it is for him to keep up with his speed. Yeah. He's kind of flying around, and he's like, all right, Milo. He's scary, but I'm fast. He's so. like, what's the game plan? And you're like, Ugh. Yeah. Build and some And Bullet's speed. like, is that what I look like? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you kind of fly around, get a gauge of it, as the Gengar's just sort of all of a sudden in front of you, peeling out of what you presume to be a wall. As he goes, licks you in the face for two. Yeah. <laughs> Blip. All right. Um, he will just instinctively try to fury attack him. Okay. And I'm sure all of these will be at disadvantage. But do you get your turn? Oh, you're right. You can roll any of them. It doesn't matter. 12. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. Just has to be even or odd. Okay. Doesn't matter how high or how low. So it was even, so I get to go. Uh huh. Okay. So he's going to instinctively attack, and he's going to do four attacks. Got one hit out of all that. One hit out of four. Out of seven die rolls. It be what it be. Uh, two damage. Two damage. All right, bullet. You applicate two damage to the Gengar's face. He applicates one right back as he just looks right by the side of your head. Kind of tussles your hair up. So like, <laughs> Me or bullet? Bullet. Okay. But you reset the doom clock back down to one. Okay. So he takes one damage? Yep. Okay. Just one. And then it's back to you. Okay. Get your uh, turn. Earn it. Ah, uh, man. Earn your keep. Well, speed wasn't a thing, so I don't think. Uh, you know what? No, he try harder. Let's. Ag- it's flavor text, but he's gonna agility even harder. Agility more. Yeah. Okay. Do you get your turn? Oh yeah. Gosh darn it. Yes, I do. Okay. There you go. Agility again. Agility. Even harder. Yeah. Agility at level two. Yeah. I cast a level two agility. Yeah. Okay. You take two. Okay. Two points. As the Gengar just kind of like pokes itself in the eye and you're like, (laughs) gross. And is he still like just right on me? Like just comes right out of the wall, no problem? Yeah, he seems to be wherever he needs to be. Okay, so that fruitless for next time. This is bullet learning. All right, let's see if I get a turn. Get your turn. Uh, No, I don't. All right. I'm not a monster. Agility will remain. Okay. As you're just kind of like, what are we doing, Milo? As he's like, Okay. You take, you take three. Did you take two last time? You take three now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Takes up to three. Okay. Bullet, this Gengar's messing with you, man. He's in your head. Evens this time. Not anymore. Kill him. <laughs> For five attacks. Five attacks. I would like the first one or, I don't know, D&D rules. So I'll either go the first one or the lowest one. To hit Milo. To be like, dude, help me out here. Okay. I like it. Okay, well, let's see how many hits. Six hits. Okay. 
Um, this first one for sure. If you want to throw one at Milo, it's not a disadvantage. 19. Because he's not I the subject of your fear. Yeah, you 19 to, to hit him? him, yeah. All right. That exceeds the DC 15 check that the Gengar succeeded against Milo. Okay. Milo, you awaken. Okay. From your nightmare. Okay. Bullet? Great job. You're literally the only one who has figured out that if you smack your trainer for any <laughs> amount of damage, you wake up. Okay. Congratulations. I can say that now because he's the last one. It's funny. <laughs> All right. All right, Bullet. You have five more attacks. Okay, beautiful. You're still a disadvantage, figured but you don't much. have to roll for your turn anymore. Okay. See you in five, uh, ten rolls. Yeah. Got two hits on that one. Two hits. Let's do some damage. Now we can really do some damage. Five. Five. All right, Bullet. Bullet, you get in there for some good damage. And Milo's awake. Beautiful. This is good stuff. You take one, though. You, you do take yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, take yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah. But you cracked the first part of the Enigma code. Part one down. Yeah. It's your turn. Okay. On the fly teaching, given what I just went through with Toby... I want to see if we can do agility to bullet, but instead of speed, send it forward like a wing attack. It's like send a gust at him so mm -hmm. you don't have to, because it seems like you're struggling up close. Can we do some, some wispy air here? And a, Going for Augustus? Agility backwards. Throw, instead of throwing the wind backwards for speed, throw it forward for power. Okay, so we want to go for Augustus? Yes. All right, you know the rules. Con check, higher than 10. He's like, got it. And that he was to see if I get my turn. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. I'm kidding, I'm but kidding. But he does I'm agility. Kidding. He's yeah. like, yeah, Okay. I get it. And All you're right. like, well, okay. I, can't, I can't be mad. You take two. Okay. And then it's your turn again, and you have agility up. Okay. And uh, you're like, all right, throw it forward, done. No. <laughs> yeah, do agility. Okay. You got to let me finish. <laughs> do agility. Yeah, I did it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try one more time. Go. Like, do what you did, but instead of shooting the air back, shoot it forward. Like, Kay. the wind. You got this. You yeah. can do it, buddy. You can yeah, do it. Yeah, agility again. Yep. But, but forward. Blast of air. For a 16. 16 will do. All right. Do it. Now you gotta hit him. Oh yeah. Twelve on the die. That's a good start. You're still a disadvantage. Oh yeah. This is a dangerous time to try to learn. No, because I thought it was further away, so he wasn't a disadvantage. That was the point. Good. Okay. Good. Good. It resolves. Two d six. Okay. Ooh. That's. Wing attack is spicy. Beauty. Compared to one d four. Four damage. Four damage? <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Bullet, as you finally figure out how to agility forwards, yes. you launch a little gust of wind, and you're like, I maked that. Yes. I maked that. You take one point of damage okay. as the Gengar's like, and you're like, ew, 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 stop, ew, that, gross. That is ew. As he just like, pulls on his tongue and it just keeps coming out of his mouth you're like eh, eh. but it's only one point of damage okay Back to you um try to um go this is i know this isn't gonna work but um go fury attack his tongue at least you're honest because i remember in xantha that that was like the physical part that you could like we could try to throw fire at and whatnot mm -hmm. um i know i'm still at disadvantage but i wanted to try it okay i'll so. say agility can remain okay because you didn't technically make your next fury attack six attacks incoming okay uh nope okay so you hit one hit one time one one time it's a strong one darn right four points of damage bullet you slam into the gengar's tongue yeah. Your theory is correct. There's something there. <laughs> yeah. As you peck at his tongue, he goes, ow. As it goes, and the, his Looney Tunes tongue retraction, like a rolled up carpet, is kind of nasty. Take one point of damage. Okay. But it seems like you're onto something. The tongue is indeed 
actually there and can interact with the world. Yep. All right. Try it. Let's try to build up agility again so he can do another gust of wind. All right, bullet. Uh, can I? I thought maybe I had to set Let's, it up. Here's what we're going to oh, do. Oh, I got to see if I can move, right? Or no, because I'm yeah, out. Yeah, you're out. So here's what we're going to do for gust in here. If you if you go for gust and you fail, you get agility. Okay. Because you're he's agility and he's just trying to do something else with sure. it. Sure. Okay. So we'll do that for now. So on the fly jump yes. training. Okay. Thirteen. All right. So you may attempt to a hit gust. him now. Yes. And this one will not be a disadvantage because you fly away. Heck yeah! Fifteen on the die. Right. I'm assuming those are because it's new. It's just a straight roll. Yes. Okay. To get him with a bosh. Oh, That's eleven, good. baby. 11, baby! Mm. All right. You smack him with some good gustuses. And the Gengar's like... Dry that tongue out. He goes, ow! Oh! And then just goes, da, 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 and just baps himself in the eyes, and you take one point of damage just from, like, the sheer body horror of it. It's <laughs> disgusting. Quit Bullet, punching yourself. Like, <laughs> Gross. Okay. All right. Do it again. You're killing it. You can do it, Boom. buddy. Wee! Set up agility. Yeah, he does Bush. it. Okay, hit him. No, not right. today. No such luck. Okay. Agility remains. You're getting faster and faster. But you're yeah. like, check this out. Sound barriers. <laughs> Let's go. It just goes right on through the Gengar, and he's just like, ooh, it's a little cold in here as he pulls his eyelids oh down. And, and Bullet's like, ah. Two points. Two. Okay. All right, bullet. All right, bop his, bop his eyes. Bop him in the let's eyes. Bop him in the eyes this time. Bop him in the eyes. Four attacks in incoming. Eyes. One strong, hit. Strong one. One hit. Coming at his eyes. For a four damage. Four damage. Four damage is four damage. Woo! His bullet flies through the eyes. He realizes, like, okay, that was not as good as pecking his tongue, but at least I didn't have to peck his tongue. And as he turns around, the Gengar is just like, oh, my eye, and just pulls it out of his head and then Gross. pops it back in. You sicko. You want to take one, though. Okay. Because you hit him. Boop, 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 boop. Smart bullet. bird. He's a ghost ball. Right, we got to keep going for it because it's win-win. Mm -hmm. Ten to hit. Mm -hmm. wah, wah. Wah, okay. No such luck this time as the Gengar appears behind you. Just, just tickles the back of your neck with his tongue. Blah, 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 blah. Tick two. Hit. All right. Um. Come on, bullet. All right, Pull bullet. Together. Peck him in the tongue. That worked better. Peck him in the tongue. tongue, tongue Six tongue, attacks tongue, 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 incoming. Peck in the tongue. Yep. One. One again. One, six. Three more damage. Do, do, All do, right, do, do. You smack him for three, you in turn get licked for one. As you're pecking at his tongue, he just goes right at the front of your face. We're playing like, uh, a dangerous game here, but I don't fully understand what's happening, so he wouldn't change it up. <laughs> um, and I don't miss a thing. He will get to agility again. He's okay. doing real good at that, and he will not hit, so here uh, we go. Ah! Uh, all right, bullet. You take two. Yeah. You take two. All right, two. bud. You can do it. So hit him. He more pulls than once. his arm off and waves at you. He's like, ah! Oh, you can hit him, please. Get it. Three attacks incoming. Three attacks. Much okay. worse. One more hit. All right. Seems to be the rule here. Yeah. You hit him once at a time for another two. Okay. Hit him once for two. Okay. Okay. Bullet. You take another one. Yeah. As you peck him. Just contact with the tongue. You're like, ew, gross. As he just goes, just All right. a little bit. Agility on, to, he does it, and to hit, my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. You fire up another agility, and you take two. As the Gengar just starts running in place, and then trips and tumbles into a bunch of cubes, and you're like, ew. All right, this is his last one. Okay. His last attempt. Can do I'm debating. It. Let's go for the new move again. Let's, okay. Let's end on this. Just, just crank it. Make it happen. Okay. So here's the check to do it. No. Okay. No. So we'll end on a fury attack. Just kidding. 
the dice have decided we're gonna try four attacks. Okay. All right. No hits this time. This this turn was doomed to miss on all accounts. Bullet, you succumb to the fear. Frick. Take two points of damage. Okay. He's down. Who's out next? Um. So. I would like to reach for Violet. Okay. Um, but he's kind of hesitating because Violet hasn't really like fully recovered from what's happened. Okay. Um, and in his hesitation, um, Titania will pop out of her Pokeball and just run in. Okay. Yeah, you hear... Ah! No, wait, no! And she just runs what are you in doing? and like... No, you can't do this. Roll for initiative. Get her in as the Gengar's like. All right. So <laughs> like, I take all challengers. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right. The Gengar is going first. Titania takes three damage. Okay. This should be really interesting. As the Gengar just walks up and is like, "You're a baby, aren't you?" And she's like, ah! and he just goes, ah! and she just. She took one right out of the gate, right? Three. Oh, three? Three. The doom clock did not reset. Oh. Bullet did not strike him. Okay, and then... She Come on, Titania. Okay, so I, I, all those checkpoints got it. Mm -hmm. Um... Come on, Titania. Get it together. Let's do it. Okay, she's gonna go for a metal sound. Okay. Um... You have to make a charisma save, although I doubt anything matters in that regard. You need a, a it's 12. A seven okay. On the die. Okay. It's less than a 12. Uh, on a failure, they have a minus one to all rolls for a minute. <laughs> so I don't think that really does much. It doesn't really, but um, it's good to know. Okay, perfect. So do I take four? Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That's what I wanted. <laughs> okay. All right. So Titania is going to go for a steel okay. wing. All right. Okay. For a 14 to hit. Mm. Frick. Mm, Titania. As she runs in for a steel wing, the Gengar just grabs his upper half and just goes, Oops. Oh, he's still at disadvantage, huh? Oh, so yeah. it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but. Yeah, either way. Okay. That's okay. As he, as he pulls himself in half, she's like, Ew! As her wing passes through him. And he okay. lands back down. Take your five. Okay. Come on, Titania. All right, Titania, you need to hit. Please, please hit. Fifteen hits, and it's not disadvantage because weak armor gives her advantage because her health's so low. There you go. That's what I was Good pushing stuff. the health the health hit for. <clears throat> All right, give me a damage roll. So she also Make gets to roll an extra die because okay. she's that low. Make it a good one. Come on, Titania. Dude, she was made for this. I know. That's why I saw that. I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Come um, on. Get a girl. Get a kiddo. Come on. Ooh, seven, eight damage eight. total. And I regain temporary HP. Okay. For uh, four. Okay. So you regain four temporary hit points. Those will be affected first. They do not affect weak armor bonuses. Okay. So you have a, you have an overshield of four right okay, now. Okay, cool. And it's as you slam on through with the speed, you're like, how is she not afraid? She's yeah. like, I have never been scared. <laughs> she flies forward like talons first. Yeah. And claws through his tongue and kind of flips him over. And she's just like, I've seen this in the fight pit. <laughs> you take one point of damage into that temporary HP as the Gengar's like. I've been defeated in, <laughs> in worse ways, I suppose. All right. She's going to go for uh, And I'm going to just be like, that's incredible. Be careful. <laughs> do your thing. <laughs> okay. So just watching like, I don't even know what she can do. Yeah. I don't even know. Get it. Get it, kiddo. Uh... Natty one. She spends her turn gloating on top of the Gengar. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> yeah! As the Gengar is just like, wooga, 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 wooga. take two. Uh, you hit him last turn. Uh, yeah. Took one. Well, I, but I didn't hit him this turn, and so I took one last time. Oh, you didn't hit him. Two. Take two. 
Bungo Bungo. I like everybody so far has gotten this better than I have. Because <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I take like two. You're like, I just, just took two. I'm like, your honesty is appreciated. <laughs> take three. Okay. All right. Steel wing for a 19 to hit. Uh, we're gonna do a bunch of these. Get it. For 10, 11 damage. Oh my god. The doom clock resets. You only take one into that temp HP. Okay. As Titania's standing Freaking there, she's like, sick. I don't know what you're so nervous about. She goes, People's elbow! <laughs> <laughs> Slams into the Gengars. He's like, He's like, This is adorable. Look up, look up, look up. And she goes, Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. He's like, right. She's not afraid of me. It'd be so wild. I don't. I'm gonna be so mad if she rolls a crit because she's like a couple points away from being able to do double crit damage from weak armor. Oh. Anywho's, uh, thirteen or twelve to hit. Twelve. No dice. No dice. As she comes in, overconfident seems to be getting to her. She's like, "Yeah, this is easy." And she kind of jumps in the air, goes squad, goes to land on him as the Gengar goes. Oh, jeez, okay. All right, all right. Refocus. Do it again, because it's your only move. Get a kid. Oh, ten. No. All right, this no dice again. Bad. You take another three from Unga Bunga. Oh, God. You take three Unga Bunga damage. I've taken an, one actual hit point. One hit point of actual damage. All right, you're back down to eight. All right, please. Get him. Come on, Titania. Nope. <laughs> Titania, you drop another four from Ungabungus. All right, we're in the final tier of weak armor, baby. You gotta hit it. You have to it. hit or you die. You gotta hit it. Please, I've never wanted a 20 more in my D&D life than right now. You know, I'll stick with it. I was going to roll Devin's die, but... <sighs> okay, it still hits, though. I'll take okay. it. I'll take it. 15 to hit. Yeah. And seven damage. Seven. Okay, another seven damage. More importantly, you reset that clock. Goes from four down to one. You can do it, Titania. Okay. You can do it. Oh, Ooh. so close. Ooh. 22 to hit. Ooh. And we'll do 14 damage. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Titania. Yeah. In an unprecedented turn of events. How do you want to do this? Woo! Um, Get it, kiddo. Titania just has no idea what's going on and thinks this is like a fully for fun fight. Yeah. Um, she is going to knock him over, do enough to like knock him out to like win still, but then like not really do anything extra and like pose over him <laughs> like it was a. <laughs> Like it was a, a fight pit battle, mm -hmm. and then get up and like try to give it a hand to like help it up because that's what it thinks this is. Okay, yeah, Titania knocks him down, <laughs> strikes a shimmery bird pose, and then extends a wing down to the Gengar, who's just like, "Thank you." <laughs> it's like I, I've never been treated so nicely at the end of a battle, and she's like. <laughs> Twas a pleasure, new friend. Let's play again sometime. <laughs> As the Gengar folds into the floor and wisps away, your team fully recovers, bullet included. Beautiful. Checkpoint acquired. Awesome. Due to the new rules of the Checkpoint League. All right. Milo, mm -hmm. much to your chagrin, mm -hmm. despite the fact that your whole team heals, Titania is locked in for round three. Oh my god, no! And she's like... Woo! <laughs> Titania! She go. You goof. Who's next? <laughs> as a as a pink puddle of jam crawls into the middle of the gym. Let's roll for initiative first. For, while I pull for up flavor Titania's text, fears. if I am like locked in, is this like even if I tried to call her back, I can't? Yeah. Okay. It's like her Pokeball is, like, all Pokeballs are temporarily deactivated at the moment. Oh, like, no. bullets, bullets out, and it's yeah, like, yeah. okay. she's, yeah. In the, and the Gengar's like, yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, she is. Okay. So. Initiativo. Initiativo. Crit. Titania riding the high. He's like, <laughs> okay, I get it. She's like, I understand. 
I get I, it. I can't call you back. She's like, showmanship. All right. I can't call you back. You have to be careful out there. Titania. All right. Please. Titania. Yes. As you come walking out, all proud, you're like, yeah, okay. No big deal. I got this. There's a puddle of jam in front of you. You have first crack. There's no adverse effects at the moment. It has not assumed any form. All right, well. If you have temporary hit points, they are still there. <gasps> they do not fade. She was not called back. Oh my god. I have been allowing for effects that last for an amount of time to okay. last through the rounds. Good lord, as long okay. As they stay up. That's huge. Um, so I will do that again here. She will start off with a little bit of showmanship and let out a metal sound. <laughs> okay. That might actually be relevant here. That's a 11? Nope. Okay. So okay. minus one on all rolls for a minute. Well, Titania, you let out an incredible metal sound. Yeah. You don't take any damage on the first round. Okay. But after you scream, it assumes the form of Ava, the Mega Tyranitar. And her kind of like wings will just sink down <laughs> like... Just, oh no. I, having seen so many battles, she knows that this is one that will not uh, end well. Uh, Milo, you see it too. Uh, this one is a tangible thing. As it just folds up, towering over her, she's like, I am very meek. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> One point of damage. Okay. Just from the appearance of the the mega Tyranitar, yep. Ava. That's fair. Alright, Titania. Um, she will try to steal wing it. Okay. Titania run! And she's like towards it, got it. Yes, yeah, like, okay, I'm going in. 14. 14 is insufficient. Okay. As she strikes up towards the jelly, she kind of bounces out and is like, yeah. <laughs> All right. And it lets out a horrible roar. And she immediately again is like, no, 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 no. Two. No, Titania, run away. She's That's like, not how the fight pits got work. It. Jump in. You've got to win 14 again. 14 years old. Oh, Here's the walls. Another roar echoes through and the tail comes swiping out. She barely jumps it. She's like, this is cool. She's like, I understand. I get the choreography now. <laughs> We're good. Three points of damage. She almost doesn't even seem to be aware of like any pain that's coming in. She's just having a good time. She's going to jump over one of the giant feet, try to run up the tail, and uh, hit him in the back. Okay. It's worth noting. We're still at a disadvantage because your weak armor went away. Yes. Okay. So she's at disadvantage now. Yeah. So that's a 15. Okay. So that's, that's good for now. And a knife. Okay. That one misses. Yeah. Take another four. Okay. As she's running up, she falls off and she hears a Milo say, no, no, no. You got to be careful. You're too young. And she's like, I am not a baby. <laughs> I can do it. All right. Hyped Get up. She will go face him from the front to prove how non-baby she is and go for a hit. Face me, Mariah. However, she will close her eyes because she is still a little scared. Okay. Two. Yeah. Eyes closed. She goes, thwack, thwack. She's like, totally nailed that. As she kind of like flitters back down without realizing that she's flying. She's like, okay, I got it. And then lands on the ground at his feet. Okay, here we go. Ava will swing the tail once more for five. For five? It went up an additional? Four, sorry. Okay. Four. Oh, no, you're right. It is five. It is five. five. And I already wrote it as five, too. You take I did my five. math wrong. Okay. okay, no worries. I do it all the time. Um, I okay. did it just now. All right, and she will try to hit him again, please, for a 15 or a higher number. That's good. All right, Titania, smack him. All right, smack well, she got her extra dive damage back, so let's go. Boom. Uh, six, seven damage. Seven. Okay, the doom clock resets to one. As she gets a little bit of confidence back. Well she done. She runs up towards the tail and just cuts it off and is like, oh, I'm so sorry. As the jam just goes, she, oh, okay. pulls it back on. 
quick. Holy brick balls. Um, let me do one thing real quick. Holy brick balls. <laughs> Mother trucker, dude. That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Um, let's do it again. Nope. <laughs> Not this time. Oh, boy. Mm. Titania. Just one. Just one? We're back down to one. You smacked him. Just one. Okay. You cut the tail off, it comes back. Oh, come on. Bush. There we go. 16? 16. We're good? Yeah. It's 15 again. So it's, okay. if it makes it easier for Nine. you. Nine. Nine? <laughs> A 16. Okay. He's taking 16 damage total. You smack him for another nine. You regain a little, uh, yeah. little bit of that armor. And I take one. A little bit of that sauce, and you take one. Okay. As you're kind of recovering, every time Ava roars, you're just a little bit shaking. You're like, okay, no, stay strong. You can, you can do this. Um, okay, <gasps> that's pretty good. And worse. And then I want to do something for me. Okay. <laughs> I take pliers over and I peel off some armor <laughs> so she hits harder. Okay. Um, yeah, you take you take two. Take take two for the miss. Okay. As uh, gooey Ava just kind of catches her midair and flings her back down, but it, you can tell like the ditto's like this is still a child. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like to Milo on the side. He is uh, he's screaming at Titania, who's not giving in, not running away. Um, like the coward he wished she was and <laughs> and um, it's trying to call her back the pokeballs aren't working and there is nothing he can do but also knowing that this is a gym challenge where if things were to go wrong it's not like she would die it would just be like you got knocked out and you lost you're not gonna die so Titania you can do this you are doing so much better than I ever thought your mom's gonna kill me but keep up the good work Titania he's treating you like an adult like a capable Pokemon have a temporary plus one to your hit oh sir. Uh, that's good and that's better okay. um, so that is an 18 very good on the lowest one because that's one of that's one of Titania's fears being treated like a baby. Yep. And you're helping her conquer that. Sick. She's All like, right. yeah, mom would kill us. This is naughty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. Uh, and 14. The, and the dice match the narrative, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Titania, you reset the clock uh -huh. to one. Okay. But this turn are unaffected. Sweet. Because you did a little bit of fear conquering. All right. Um, back to you. She's back at f with temporary HP. She's back to full, which is incredible. She's crushing it. She can go above. Yeah. Tight. Well, yeah, I, but if she, she didn't. Yeah. If she this could. is just what she's at. She started way above. Yeah. Um. Get it, Titania. You are killing it. I cannot believe how good you are at fighting. This might be something that you're into, and I just didn't even give you the thought. Here go. That's poor. I'm gonna roll the other one for heartbreak. Okay. Okay. She looks over at you like, huh? And then takes one as the tail slams behind her. She goes, oh, okay. All right. Stay focused. And she'll go in for another one. Yeah. <gasps> pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty great. We're gonna do some damage. And we're gonna do 14 again. 14 again. Dude, she's cranking out hits like Dr. Dre. All right. As you. You turn around once more and you're like, I'm sorry, Ava. I wasn't paying you the proper respect of focusing on you with 100% of my attention. Yep. And slams into the chest and again kind of bounces out, but it leaves a nice little gash in there in that jam. Titania. Uh-huh. You only take one point of damage. Okay. But we're back to the we're back to the clock. Clock's ticking again. Yeah. Um, that is. Does she have her temporary hit still? Oh yeah. Okay. That's that's staying. Okay. Didn't matter. Uh, didn't matter though. Yeah. She jumps on up once more. She's like, I K 
can do this. So she jumps into a flight and then just kind of falls a little bit and stumbles. And then that tail's swooping in again and she kind of gets knocked on her face. Come, come on, Titania, you can do this. Pull it together. You've seen this Tyranitar m more than anyone here in this room. You know how to take it down. She goes, yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, 19. 19. No, 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 19. Um, 3, 6, 12. Titania. Another 12 damage. The clock ticks back down to 1. Okay. Titania, you're crushing this. Come on, girl. Pull it together. Nope. Oh, for heartbreak's sake. All right. She runs over and jumps on the tail, and then for half a second, she becomes a little baby again. She's like, this is jumpy. <laughs> this is good. And she takes one point. Oh, only one? Yeah. Or does it go up to two? Oh, it goes up to two. Okay. She takes two points of damage from jumping up. Okay. All right, Titania. You got this. Kill him. I know it, it looks fun, but you gotta bop him. For realsies, nope. Yeah. She's she's too lost in the sauce. She takes another three. Jumping on the ditto's tail. Oh boy. She's having fun. She's like, alright, this is cool. This is great. I don't understand why everybody's so nervous for me. This is this is a fun time. Titan, you gotta focus. You gotta hit him. You can do it. She's lost in the sauce, man. She's too far. She takes four. And she's jumping on the on Ava's tail. She's like, it's just like old times. And she kind of runs up and slides down the back of it. All right. Like, well, the good news is we've activated her trap card, and she no longer has disadvantage thanks to weak armor. There you go. Titania. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a little bit of fear. Titania, come around the front. Hit him square in the face. True, true fight pit style. Get it. 15. All right. She's like, okay, fine. But you have noticed she doesn't seem to be afraid anymore. She's conquering it with fun. She's like, Ava wasn't always that scary. 13. 13. Dude. Can't get one freaking way. <laughs> She's, she might do it. All right. You take one. Okay. As you run around the front and smack Ava in the face, you're like... I never would have gotten away with this with the real Ava and the and the ditto roars and he goes, This is the real Ava. I didn't get away with it. Come on, you can do it. You're killing it. I don't know how you're still up. This is insane. That's a twenty-four. For eight more damage. Titania. How do you wanna do this? What? What? Titania conquered her fears. No kidding. She conquered her fears. She's no longer afraid of Ava and knows that deep down, you trust her. <laughs> Titania is going to go ultimate WWE right now and run by. And like, I, I think that she's kind of envisioning this as like an act a little bit. Yeah. She's gonna like go peck it in the knee so it like buckles down uh -huh. and then do like a, a lap with her wing out for like high fives before going in for like the finishing blow where she will jump and like spin like a drill into it. Okay. Yeah, the ditto being very confused is like, oh man, I'm kind of winded. All right. Just finish it. And she's like, what? <laughs> she goes, to all my fans out there. She's like, kill Miss Represent. I was just a girl with a dream. And she goes, high fives everybody. And then it's just like, <laughs> and spins off like a drill through the ditto. Incredible. But then collapses at the base of the, of the room. Incredible. Milo. Yeah. As soon as she lands on the ground. The lights come on. Hello? And this mass of long white hair draped over a face and a gnarled, bony, shaking hand holding a, a black box reaches out towards you. Um, I want to make uh, an insight check to make sure I'm not still in a nightmare. <laughs> okay. Natural one. Natural one? <laughs> You're really not sure anymore. <laughs> You're like, what have I seen today? <laughs> what is this? As Titania's like, I defeated the monster. Defeated. I'll pinch myself. Okay, it hurts. Okay. Go, okay, cool. And I will say, 
hello and thank you and reach out for it yeah she hands you the box and i'll open the box all right milo when you open the box it's a crisp hundred dollar bill oh my god and an accompanying aether badge oh sick milo please describe it to me it is a wispy black marble oh. and as you look into it it's a little different for everybody you see the thing that you were most afraid of you feel emboldened by it you see the prime mind swirling around in there petting a bird <laughs> <laughs> it seems to take whatever you're afraid of mm -hmm. and make it not Marble so scary it. gotcha and hide okay. it in there and as you look back up you're standing inside an ordinary large tree holding a gym badge, a hundred bucks, and two birds that are ready to fight, and a super confused dog and a very <laughs> confused lady. And yeah. Violet and Howl are like, all right, we got to the gym. Like, let's go. Let's yeah. do it. Like, come on. They're like, we won. What do you mean? This Titanium's like, People's Champ 2021! <laughs> She's just squawking, like running around in circles. You're standing inside basically like a hollowed out redwood tree. You're like, There's nothing here anymore? Nothing. What in the world? Milo, the Aether Badge does something else. Okay. Gives you a plus three to all rolls for you and your Pokemon from here to infinity to resist any check to resist fear. Oh, that's awesome. If you fail with that bonus, uh -huh. the effect lasts half as long as it would. Oh. So if you would be afraid for a minute, you're afraid for 30 seconds and so on. Amazing. If you'd be afraid for one round, you're afraid for an action. Okay. So you just have a bonus action and a movement. Okay. Amazing. But yeah. And there's nothing else up, in this tree. There's nothing else in the tree. There's no sign of anything. What in the world? This titanium is just like... Um, Nailed it. Mental note for later. I want to try to see if we can turn this into a like a a winner's belt because <laughs> clearly she earned it. Yeah, the the badge. Yeah, yeah. But uh, mental note for later. And mm -hmm. uh, looking around, if there's if there's nobody and nothing, like there aren't even chairs in here. There's yeah. just no, absolutely it's nothing. Just a tree. But and there's a door. Yeah. There's a door uh, that you came through. What if I look up? If you look up, it just goes all the way up. Seems like a hollow fake tree. How bizarre. Um, I want to ask Bullet if he remembers anything about like the metal world and the door that shot lightning. He gives you a very quizzical look. He's like, the what now? And the who? Okay. That was all in my head. Got it. Great. Yeah. Worst dream I've ever had. And uh, I'll go open the door to leave. All right. So you open the door to leave, you're greeted by sunlight. Right in the eyes. And four individuals standing outside. Huh. And we'll pick that up in the next proper session. Ah! Thanks for watching, everybody. Titanium's got confidence now, <laughs> for better and worse. <laughs> wild yeah but we'll see you later bye 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 bullets speed and titania's panache helped milo pull through the trials of new tree gym though it seems the tots have attracted some attention if you enjoyed milo's gym session leave a like in the video and show him your support if you'd like to keep up with the tots as they continue their adventures subscribe to the channel if you'd like to help us out directly you can follow the links in the description box to the patreon from there, you can join the discussion in our Discord servers, check out the post show still rolling, and get access to some extra special content before it goes live. There's also a link if you want to check out the Boarding Party merch, and let us know in the comments where you think the tots will head next. Thanks for watching Boarding Party. Catch you next week.